Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use octal permissions. So let's get started. Now you've probably seen people using numbers like this to edit permissions and change permissions, or you've probably seen permissions referred to with a number like this and wondered what are they? Well, they're basically numeric permissions and they use an octal number base system. So a little bit about number bases, we've got binary, which is a base two number system and it consists of zero and a one. And then you've got octals, which are a base eight number system, which go all the way from naught up to seven. And then we've got decimal, which is a base 10 number system and the number system that we use most often, which starts with a zero and goes all the way up to nine. Then we've got hex, which is a base 16 numbering system and goes from zero all the way up to F. Now, just say we had a file with these permissions. So the owner's got read, the group have got read and everybody else has got read permissions. And we wanted to change the permissions so that the owner has read, write and execute, the group has read and execute and everybody else has got read and execute as well. What we could do is use chmod and type in u plus wx comma go plus x and then the name of the file and that would give us the correct output or we could use an octal permission and just type in 755 and it would give us the same output. So how did we work that out? Well, if we take the owner permissions, which were read, write and execute, and then we put a one underneath each one of those because we want those permissions, you can see that we have a binary number there. It all consists of ones. Now, binary numbers are always counted from the right. So if we put a one under the first position, the next position is going to be double that, so that's a two, and then the third position is going to be double that, so that's a four. If there was a fourth position, it would be eight, and then 16, 32, 64, and so on. So wherever we see a one underneath our permission, so indicating a permission we want, we're going to take the number under that and add them all together. So on the first one for execute, we've got a one, so we're going to take that one and add it down. And then under right, we've got a one there. So we're going to take the two and add it to the one. And then for the read permission, we're going to take the four because we have a one there and add them all together and we get a seven. So if we do that again for the group permissions, so we needed to add execute to our permissions. So we put a one there. We don't want write, so we put a zero there and we want read, so we put a one. And again, one, two and four underneath that. So wherever we see a one, we add the number below it. So we get a one there. We don't need any twos, so no write permissions. And we need read, so we put one four down. And if we add those all together, we get five. And it's the same for the last permission. So what do you really need to remember from all of that? Well, the only thing you need to remember is R equals four, W equals two, and X equals one. And that's it. If you can remember that and you can add those three numbers together, you can calculate octal permissions really easily. So let's just go and work through some examples now. Okay, so if I open up a terminal and let's just CD that over to the desktop and let's just create a file. So touch and call it file one and let's just ls-l so we can see the permissions and you can see we've got some permissions already set. So let's use chmod and let's just blank all of those permissions. So let's just type in 000 and file one and hit enter. And if we ls-l, you can see that nobody has any permissions. So now let's give this file the same permissions that we had in the example. So we're gonna type in chmod and we want to give the owner read, write and execute permissions. So that's read is four write is two and execute is one. So if we add all those together, four plus two plus one equals seven. So put seven there. And the group, we wanna give them read and execute permissions. So read is four, execute is one. So four and one is five and the same for everybody else. So that's another five. And then the name of the file that we want to change the permissions on. So file one and hit enter. And if we ls dash L now, you can see that the permissions have been set. So using octal permissions or numeric permissions, as they're sometimes referred to, is actually pretty easy to do. And it's a shorthand way of writing permissions. It's much faster than using the 
symbolic way of adding permissions. So as you can see, it's a much faster way of changing permissions on a file. So as this file that we're working on isn't a script and it doesn't need to be executed, I don't want to give execute permissions to the owner. So I'm just going to chmod and 644. So everybody else can read it but not write to it and they can't execute it and the owner can't execute it. So the owner has got read and write and everybody else can just read it. And if we just type in file one and then ls-l, that's exactly what we wanted. So after a while of using octal permissions or numeric permissions as they're sometimes called, you'll start to find that certain permission numbers start to just stick in your head and you no longer have to calculate them. And it doesn't really take that long because they are pretty simple to use. So there you go, that's octal permissions. Um, I hope you found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow Linux Leech on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.